card and welcome to another blog tech tips and of course today guys i'm going to show you how to how to charge your ps4 controller with a phone charger safely now if you have your ps4 controller and this is the dualshock 4 and as you can see here from the design you'll know that this is a wireless controller now as of lately, many people have been damaging their controller when they are actually trying to charge with their phone charger. So this tutorial is to help you guys to avoid the issues such as damaging your device if you do not know how to properly charge it away from the PS4. Reasons why you may want to do this is because um, if the PS4 is off during the time, you can actually charge it without wasting much electricity by leaving the PS4 on. You can charge it at the wall. You can also play and charge at the wall at the same time. And of course, this is great, especially if you're across the room and you want to use your device wirelessly. All right, now that that's out of the way, let's go straight into the tutorial. Now, the first thing I'm going to show you guys is the mistake that many people make. Now, if you have one of these chargers, as seen here, and this is, of course, as you can see over here, a fast adaptive wireless charger. These come with devices that support fast charging such as the um, Samsung Galaxy S8, um, S9, and other devices that support fast charging. Now, if you're going to use a device with a fast adaptive charging, of course, this is going to damage your device. So do not use any form of fast chargers. And that's the primary reason why many of you guys will be having issues or many people have damaged your controller because of this. It causes the controller to heat up and that's because of the output. I'll talk about that more um, later on. So do not use a fast wireless charger. Use a regular charger. And next I'm going to show you what to check for. Now of course if you check out the cable that comes with your PS4 controller you'll notice it looks something like this. And this is of course a USB which is a regular um, USB. And on this end we have a micro USB and it connects to the PS4 controller and it connects at the front here and as you can see this is the uh, receptacle that it actually fits into. Now if you have one of these what I'm going to do is that you can actually charge it as I said with almost any um, phone charger but as I said do not use the ones such as the ones with um, fast charging. Now to know what exactly is the rating of your PS4 controller you'd have to actually check the back of the controller. I'm also going to flip mine over here and I'm going to bring it up to the screen right here. Now if you look right down here guys you'll notice it says um, dual shock controller or something like that but right there it says 5V 800MA and that's of course the input voltage and that's 5 volts at 800 milliamps. Now of course whenever you're inputting any form of charge into your device make sure that it is at least 5 volts with 800 milliamps. All right? If you do not do that it could end up damaging your device and I'll show you the various conditions under which it can damage your device. All right? So the first thing after this um, guys is to check your charger to make sure that it conforms to this standard right here and I'm going to show you three different um, phone, I'm going to show you three different phone chargers and I'm going to look at which one is incorrect, which one is bad and which one is good and why. All right. So first off, let me start out by placing these on screen. So I'm just going to move this out of the way. All right. And here's all three. First, we have this white one. Then we have this black one right here. And of course, we have the fast wireless charging version over here. Now, of course, I'm going to start off with the symbol of the set. And that is this one here in the middle. And this is from a phone. And if I can get this just to focus here, I'll show you what the output is. Now, you're going to look for the output. It should be here somewhere. I will put this on screen as a screen cap, just in case you cannot see it. But if you look very closely down here, guys, you'll notice it says right down here at output, it says um, that this device is actually 5 volts with, it says that this is 5 volts with 550 MA. Now, um, that was very close. The voltage is correct, which is 5 volts for the controller. And of course, it says 550 MA, but of course, the controller is rated at 
800 MA. Now I could use this and it will still work and it will not damage the controller. However, just bear in mind that this will underpower the controller, meaning it will take a longer time to charge. So if the normal controller would take say three hours, this might um, have a charge in, in say four hours or four hours plus, all right? And that's because the while the voltage is correct, the, um, the amperage or the amps, which is in milliamps, is incorrect as it should be um, 800 milliamps, which is under power in basically the device. So if again, you actually connect this to the um, charger, and uh, let's say it's beside the um, couch and you're halfway across the room and you're actually trying to play the game while it's charging using this particular controller, what's gonna happen is that you will be able to play the game, but it will be drawing power directly from the controller and it can't do both charging and playing at the same time. However, if I were to actually plug in the charger here and place it onto the controller and actually put it down to charge, it would charge, but just know that the drawback is that it would take a longer time to charge. So this one is safe. However, it's going to be slow. And that's because of the lower 550 um, milliamp where the device actually needs for optimum performance needs 800 uh, milliamps all right so i hope you got that so next we're going to look at the option here which is this one which is the fast charger and i'm going to show you why the fast charger does not uh, work well now if you look at the back of the device here much clearer now let's try to focus you'll notice it says output right it says it has nine volts and that's right away a red flag do not use anything that can put output um nine volts and it says it has 1.67 amps now a milliamp and you have amps now amps it take for every amp that's a thousand milliamps all right so this has say roughly over a thousand amps right or it can output five volts at um, what's that two amps which is 2000 milliamps now right away while it has the variable voltage that is why this one will not work because the device needs only five volts the fact that it's fast charging it can switch between five to nine volts that extra voltage can actually damage your device so as a result of this, I would not advise that you use this. It can eat up the battery and cause damage. So right away, once you see anything in the voltage that's above 5 volts, do not use such a um, device, especially in the case of fast chargers. All right? So right away, this would over time damage your device. So do not use one such as this one here, which has adaptive fast charging. So I'm going to put this away. All right, so this one is a no-no. Do not use it. It will work. However, it's going to damage your device. Next, we have this white one here. And if you look at the base here, guys, and I'm just going to put this in focus just so you can see. Just give me a minute. It says output of 5 volts, so the voltage is correct. And then you notice here it has 1.5 amps. And I said for every amp, that's a 1,000 uh, milliamps so this has roughly 1500 milliamps now right away i will say that this one is good so it's always good to use say if this was 5 volts and 800 milliamps it would be perfect however as long as it's even if it's over the amperage that you need it's still good as your controller will only draw what it needs which is 800 amps. So although this has 1,500 milliamps, it will still only take 800 amps and nothing more. So if you're following, at any time, if the voltage is above 5 volts, do not use that um, charger, as that's where the damage will come into play. However, if the, um, if the amps is higher or lower, it's okay. Just note that if it's lower, the device will charge slower. If it's correct, it will work perfect. However, if it's higher, it will only take the 800 um, milliamps that it needs. So this one will actually work perfect as well. So out of all three, which one do I recommend? Which one do I say you stay away from? Let me just uh, run through. So of course, as I said, guys, do not use anything with fast charging. So this one is disqualified because of the fast charging.
All right, guys, so as I said, this one is disqualified because of the fast charging. You could use it, but it will, over time, damage your device as it will eat up the battery. And that's because of the fast charging giving out a voltage of 9 volts, varying between 5 and 9 volts. So this one is out. This one would work. However, it will charge your device very slowly. It's not very efficient. However, it's okay if you have one of these to actually use it. All right. And of course, this one is the perfect match in terms of to say that it gives the 5 volts. And however, the amperage is a little bit high, but their controller will only draw what it needs. All right. So I'd actually recommend these two and get rid of um, this one. If you follow this rule, guys, it will not damage your controller. And as you can see here, guys, I have plugged in the adapter. And as you can see over here, this is the one that I said would charge it. However, it is charging it slowly. But as you can see, it's working quite fine. Over here, you can see the DualShock 4. And it's actually lit up and working quite nicely. And of course, it would charge it. I'd have to leave it on, say, overnight. Or at least, say, 4 hours, 5 hours to charge. And of course, I do not have to worry as it's quite um, safe. It's not charging the battery and causing it to eat up as it would with um, this one over here. So avoid these fast chargers, guys, um, just to save yourself from buying a new controller. And it's charging quite perfectly. All right, guys, this is Ricardo from Blog Tech Tips, showing you how to actually charge your DualShock 4 safely without damaging the device. All right, guys, if you have any questions, please ask them below. This is Ricardo from Blog Tech Tips. With another set of quick tips, saying goodbye until next time, guys. Bye.